what up YouTube, Ace here with a uh, quick how-to and a review video. This is my MacBook Air, this is my daily laptop that I use, my daily driver you can say, that I use for generally everything. So when I'm out and about and I'm going places, I use my MacBook Air for all my general sort of things, either work and all the sort of other stuff that I do, my, you know, whatever I might want to do with it, uh, YouTube and uh, other things as well. My MacBook Air is my go-to sort of laptop that I use purely because it's slim and it looks nice and it's nimble. Now this is the older model, this is the i7, uh, not the uh, the newer one which is the i5 I believe and I'm still running it on Mountain Line because I hate Yosemite. A few people out there watching this video and you have the same sort of feelings that I do as well with Yosemite, give a like. <laughs> Thanks. Anyway, this video is all about the problems that I have with this. Now under a lot of use here. Uh, I've got a couple of little meters running at the bottom and everything, so it tells me my temperature as well. My exhaust right now, uh, it's not revved up right now, but it says 3,308 RPM at the bottom. As this is this little piece of uh, tool kit, you can actually download this little widget you can actually keep on your Mac. And if I just click right there, if you can make that out, there you go. As you can see, there's little fans and the exhaust. Now the trouble is, you can get some compressed air. I've seen people actually use compressed air, and you blow it across here. Now that's great. You can use com compressed air and everything, but then it doesn't actually do the job, and your fans will generally just keep going louder. Now you can open it up as well, do a bit of maintenance on it, but again, you have the same sort of problem. Now I've done loads of resets on it as well. It's fixed it, but then after a while, it still sort of heats up as well. And the last thing I want to do is have my thing overheating. Now I'll fix it. I found for this. Let me just move that away for you is a cooling station. Now a cooling station you can buy, I'm going to go grab this box over here, and this thing is this. So this is the mini, let's focus, just, uh, there we go. Alright, this is the mini Air Thought. Anyway, this is by this company called Cho X or something. Anyway, it looks pretty nice. Packaging is pretty good, so obviously it's not completely Chinese. Um, no offense to anyone out there that is of Chinese descent, but anyway, it comes with some stuff. So basically, it tells you exactly what it does, and it's a single fan provides excellent airflow and um, efficiency. Uh, aluminum panel as well for the frame, so it obviously matches up with your MacBook as well, and optimal for design for seven to ten inch. Now, my MacBook is a is a smaller uh, 11 inch one and it fits okay on these things so I did try it out and it actually does work pretty well let's go ahead and open it up now so it opens up like so yeah. and uh, if you want information about this you can actually head over online and online these sort of things retail for about £10 uh, to $15 depending on where you're buying it from I'm not sure what they're going to charge you shipping but I managed to find it with uh, £10 of free shipping now uh, this is what it is basically so it looks pretty nice um, and you also got a hub which is a cool thing as well a lot of times you get these little cooling stations and they don't have a hub and this one comes with a hub the fan is located right there and uh, the intake is right there as well and uh, there's the thing there and it looks pretty sturdy solid design on the side here you've got your mini USB ports that you plug into there and it plugs into your, your laptop and you've also got a, uh, a DC power in I believe that was a little power on button right there okay and you can comes with a standard mini USB cable. Now, you don't have to use this. A lot of times, I end up using the ones that I've got because I don't want to be. I don't know if I'm going to resell this at some point. If that thing happens, then at least I've got a sealed USB, which always helps the sellability of it. And I've got myself um, a nice braided USB here, and this is a, a, a much better powered one as well. So you can actually grab one of these things. I guess a bit longer as well, so you can get a shorter one if you want to make things look a bit smaller so you can get like a short little like you know USB like mini to um, mini to a normal USB connection anyway you're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna plug this in just plug it in like so there you go and I grab my MacBook El MacBook is on now and it just goes in like so boom hit the button inside and it is on and the cool thing is a lot of times you get ones where have fans that are exposed and if you've got it on a surface which isn't quite flat a lot of times if I'm working on the bed or if I'm working on the couch the fans sort of hit the actual uh, surface and they can just stop or just cease functioning cool thing is the fan is protected so I can lay it straight on my bed like here and as you can see it's the good thing is it's not too loud it's pretty quiet and it is really good in the ventilation as well I'm looking at my fans now and over here if I just zoom into there now you can see but just focus now. It's now running 
fans at 1,000, no, dip below 2,000, 1,996 RPM. So a big difference just by a simple thing like this and then get rest on a fan, it dips out and it's, it's gone around 2,000. But again, what we were getting before 3,000, that's a 33% reduction of the actual temperature as well. And also it's going to keep down the temperatures that you can see on the side of here as well, not as high as before. So again, it's 33% increased performance you can say um hope you like this video and it's been a how-to quick guide as well uh if you want me want me to do more sort of mac related videos as well like this and um also give you sort of my sort of suggestions on how you can actually how to tricks and things you can do uh drop me uh, a comment below the description and this has been ace hope you enjoyed this video peace out <laughs>